So in Russia, you were not allowed to um, protest this war or you would get arrested. Same thing, if you were to refuse war in Russia, you would be arrested for that as well. And if you had a family, you wouldn't be there to be able to take care of them. Because you'd had to serve uh, jail time either in a jail facility or under a in a basement, like an abandoned basement or, you know, some kind of jail cell. Um, you weren't there to be able to take care of your family and <clears throat> you couldn't be released for from uh, being uh, held um, as a prisoner or a criminal at least for at least maybe even a few years or so and it's gotten pretty bad. There is continued draft from Vladimir Putin to be drafting his own people to go to this war. Fresh new faces that um, are there to replace uh, dead Russian troops. And <clears throat> if you protested against the war or you refused to go to war with Ukraine in Russia, then you would obviously be arrested for, as in punishment for, um, <clears throat> not obeying the president of Russia, and Russia is pretty, cr um, cruel toward its own people, so there are two things that you could do. Now this is <clears throat> this has happened since uh, Vladimir Putin had started the uh, drafting for three hundred thousand reservists to fill the um, dead Russian soldiers' shoes in the Ukraine war, and a lot of people fled Russia to escape being drafted by Putin. That was one of the things you could do. If you did not want to go to war, uh, one of your choices was to flee Russia and escape being dr drafted. And the other reason, the Russian people sh may have also realized this as well. That if you stayed in Russia and you were drafted, you would be arrested as well. And you that would just, uh, you pretty much wouldn't have any freedom over there. And the Russian people are hating it. So, um, anyway... Before I get into the rest of the video... Please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, Sean Morris, and let's get into the rest of it. So, um, nuclear threats, or there are more nuclear drills that are being performed by Russia that now the United States and NATO are even practicing more nuclear drills as well, also military drills, and the one who's keeping a close eye on the nuclear drills being performed by Russia is Vladimir Putin, and Vladimir Putin is really, he is so desperate to claim victory over Ukraine. It, the beginning of this war, 
was because Vladimir Putin wanted to take the land of Ukraine back. Uh, Ukraine is pretty much an independent country. And, um, Vladimir Putin had started this war in an effort to take, try to take the land back. And he hasn't had much success on the battleground. Most of his troops have been wiped out by the Ukrainian army. And Vladimir Putin wants to try to step up his game and try to throw in newly untrained Russian troops into the fight. And also using Iranian drones and blowing up infrastructure with um, nuclear missiles. And Vladimir Putin is becoming a much dangerous war criminal as time goes on. So, for the Russians that want to flee, or the Russians who do not want to be um, arrested, into being, well, they get arrested because of, uh, um, if you do not go to war in Ukraine and Russia, you get arrested, and that's, um, it's, it's sad. Because even if these Russian people have family and that stuff, they won't be able to see their family members for quite a while because of them being arrested. So it's really quite sad. Could you imagine waking up the end of the day and then you find out the next day that you're being drafted by Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, to go being for drafted and forced to go into... Um, <clears throat> this war in Ukraine, and if you refused, and you were arrested, could you imagine how sad it would be to not see your family for like years and years and years and years due to being arrested? Ultimately, it's very, very, very scary. It's completely scary. Now, the, there is video evidence that's uploaded by CNN, and it's footage. That shows what the uh, Russian people um, suffer when not going into uh, war in Ukraine, and it's it's quite um, disturbing to watch. But I got I I want to be honest. Uh, It's better than getting yourself being, um, risking your own life in the Russia-Ukraine war where you're a new, um, Russian recruit who has very little knowledge of what to do on the battlefield 
and up. And, you know, not while trying to know exactly what you are supposed to be doing. And, it's better, it's better that you were back in Russia being arrested because you didn't go to war. And on the bright side, you wouldn't be, um, you wouldn't be risking your life. But at the same time, if the war in Ukraine never ended and that stuff, uh, the rest of that t time that you serve your sentence or <clears throat> time of being held criminal in a jail-like cell after you serve those amount of years, um, when the war is not at end, the government can look on you, hey, you're out of jail, let's, let's get you ready to go into war now. If you refuse again, then you'll be taken right back to your um, then Russia would have the right to arrest you again if you were in Russia and you were refused war. And the number of times that you were refused war in uh, Russia, you just get like arrested all over again because you're refusing to uh, go to war. And it's quite sad because then you wouldn't be able to seize your family for, like, the rest of your life, almost, uh, depending on how long this war gone on. And it'd be just so sad. I mean, honestly, I would not appreciate it, but, you know, in the United States, um, there's freedom. They could choose to go to war. You have an option on whether you want to or not. You had to be signed up to go into the military, but you could choose not to go if you didn't want to. But if if your decision was you uh, chose to go to war, um, then you had to be in the military until you actually uh, served your time in the military, and there was no going back home after you uh, made the decision to go to war. So you had freedom in the United States on whether you wanted to go to war or not. It was your choice on whether you wanted to go to war or not in the United States. Nobody in the United States forced anybody to go to war. <clears throat> but once that decision is made in the United States where you do go to war... There was no return after you, that decision was confirmed that you were going to war. And that's the difference between Russia and the United States. And the difference is freedom. You had the freedom in the United States, freedom of choice. You had the freedom of speech. You had the freedom of pretty much everything here in the United States. And in Russia, you don't get that. Russia, you were told to go to war. And you were drafted to go into the military. And you were told by the president of Russia that, hey, you go to war or if you refuse, that is a considered, it's considered a felony in Russia. The Russian people are not liking it. And that's the difference between between Russia and the United States. In Russia, you do not have the freedom of choice, freedom of speech. And here in the United States, 
you had the freedom of choice and freedom of speech. <clears throat> so, Russia, no freedom in the United States. There's it's freedom and... It's sad how the Russian people have to continually uh, deal with being drafted by <clears throat> Vladimir Putin and it's it's sad that the Russian people just don't really have any freedom on whether they want to go to war or not. So, the best thing that they could actually do is flee Russia and actually say no. Since they obviously would say no to war and they know that they would get arrested for refusing to accept going to war, even when the president of Russia is forcing you to go to war. Um, the best thing that they could obviously do at this point is actually flee Russia just to escape being arrested. When they get drafted to go into the military. And. You also have this. Benefit too. The Russians. Could flee the country of Russia. With their. Family. Their children. Even if. If they have. Any. And they can continue to. Uh, be around the, their family, and not have to worry about, you know, um, having to, uh, be forced to go to war when out, being outside of Russian territory. And I strongly suggest that the Russian people actually flee the country of Russia because I just want to put this out. The view, the view of uh, the view of family is more important than war. Yeah, family actually comes first than war. So, um, just so. Just so, uh, just so that the Russian people could actually stay safe, fleeing the country is actually the best option for the Russian people if they do not want to go to war and prevent, you know, getting arrested for. A stupid felony like, you know, being forced to go to war by the, uh, by Russian pre President Vladimir Putin. And when the 300,000 reservists were being drafted to go into this war after the fallen Russian troops in Ukraine... There were Russians that fled their home country just to escape Putin's drafts and after leaving their home country of Russia
there was no worrying about getting drafted by Vladimir Putin and being forced to go to war. And they could keep their families and continue to take care of their family while there was an ongoing war outside Even while the war in Ukraine was still going on, they could continue to... If you fled Russia, you could continue to see your family and be for the, be around there for them. And you uh, wouldn't be... Um, you wouldn't have to worry about being arrested. Arrested. Because you uh, fled Russia. And in Russia, you don't have any freedom over there. And <clears throat> if you were outside of Russia and you did not want to go into this war, you would have been safe in other places other than Russia. And... That would be a that would be a benefit for the Russians, for the Russian people who did not want to go to war, and for the Russian people that didn't want to spend their time being in jail or some contained jail cell. And miss out on taking care of their family. So the big benefit that the Russian people have right now is escaping Russia with their families. Even while these drafts continue to come in from the president of Russia. The best thing that the Russian people can do right now. It's flee their country with their families and prevent from being arrested and from being forced to go into this war in Ukraine. This is Charles Morris. Have a good day. I will see you on my next video. And, you know, Vladimir Putin is being not just a worldwide security threat, with these nuclear drills and nuclear threats but he's also being a threat to his own people in Russia and eventually hopefully this would all come to an end soon maybe not soon but it may be eventually it could be Years and years and years and years. This is Child Morris. Have a good day. I will see you all in my next video.